Hey, do you want to take your voice memo recordings and turn them into mp3s that you can edit and split and modify so you can put them on the web? Well, my name is Adrian. I'll show you how I take care of my own voice recordings on my iPhone. So here we are. When you go ahead and create those voice memos, it puts them into a playlist. And usually the file format is M4A. I like to convert mine to MP3s before I edit them since it's a pretty standard format. So I'm right clicking on one of these files so we can look at the properties. So basically it's a minute and 37 seconds long. Uh, I created it 916 at 1054 AM. All right, it shows the encoding and all that fun and exciting stuff. It also shows the file location, which we'll use later. So I'll hit cancel. Now to convert um, an audio file in iTunes, such as this one, you go ahead and select it, you go up to advanced, and then you choose create mp3 version. And you can uh, select multiple ones when you do that. And it'll just take a second here to go ahead and convert that. You see at the top it says converting, it makes like a little noise when it's done. There we go. So once I do that, I usually create a shortcut then to uh, my iTunes directory where I can go ahead and access that MP3. So here you see there's quite a few M4As. Those are the unconverted voice memos. But um, if we scroll over, here's that one that I just did, right? And what I like to then use for editing since I'm on a Windows system is Audacity. It's free, it's open source, and does a really good job at editing stuff. So I can just drag it on in there and it'll import it and then I can add in you know all sorts of effects. I can split the file uh, especially when I'm doing public speaking you know uh, there'll usually be several speakers that way I can just record everyone then go ahead and go back and split them up. You can fade in, fade out, do anything you really want. So yeah go ahead and uh, have fun with your voice memos. Till next time.